Hello boys and girls. I'm going to share with you the Christmas story. Illustrated by Stephanie Ryder. Long ago in a town called Nazareth, there lived a young woman named Mary. One day a great light appeared and an angel, Gabriel, stood before her. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I bring you joyful news. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son. You will have a baby, and you must call him Jesus. In the same town, there lived a carpenter named Joseph. Joseph loved Mary very much. He was going to marry her. The angel came to visit Joseph and told him that Mary was going to have God's son. Later, Joseph came to see Mary and told her what the angel had said. Joseph was a carpenter, boys and girls. A carpenter is somebody who builds things. One day, a message came from the governor of the land, and all of the people had to go back to the place where they had been born so they could be counted. Joseph was worried. He and Mary would have to go to Bethlehem. This was a long way away, and Mary was almost ready to have her baby. They set off early the next morning. Joseph led the way. Mary rode on a donkey. The road was long and hard. They didn't reach Bethlehem until the evening. The town was full of people. Joseph tried everywhere to find a place to stay, but all the rooms were taken. Mary was so tired, she could hardly stay awake. You can only imagine after that long trip on a donkey how Mary felt. At last, an innkeeper said, all my rooms are full, but you can use my stable. It is clean and warm in there. Joseph thanked him and they went inside. All around them, cows and donkeys lay peacefully asleep. The hay was soft and smelled sweet. Mary and Joseph lay down and rested. In the night, Mary gave birth to her baby. It was a boy, as the angel had said. They named him Jesus. Mary wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger where it was soft and warm. Mary and Joseph watched over Jesus lovingly. They knew he was a very special baby. Out on the hillside above the town, some shepherds were watching over their sheep. Suddenly, the sky was filled with light and an angel appeared. The shepherds fell to the ground in fear, but the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. Today a child is born. He is the Son of God. You will find him in Bethlehem, lying in a manger. Well, they were so surprised. The shepherds gazed in wonder as the sky was filled with angels singing. We must go and find this child, said one. We can take him one of our newborn lambs as a gift. They went to Bethlehem and found Jesus in the stable with Mary and Joseph. They fell to their knees and offered their gift. Far away in an eastern land lived some wise men. One night they saw a bright new star in the sky. They wanted to know what it meant. They looked in their books for the answer. It means that a new king has been born. They said, we must go and look for him so that we can worship him. The star will guide us. The wise men set off on their journey. The star shone brightly in front of them by day and by night. The wise men followed the star for many miles. It stopped right over the stable where Jesus lay. We are looking for a newborn king, they said. A bright star has guided us from far away. Joseph led them into the stable. They knelt before Jesus and offered him some very special gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that, boys and girls, is the story of the first Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do every year. Merry Christmas.